just celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a shout of praise tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We love your presence, God. We welcome you here in this place tonight. We welcome you in this place tonight. Father, have your way with us. Let this night be amazing in your presence, God. We give you honor. We give you glory. For you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
you're ready to move your feet. If he goes to the left, then we go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we'll go to the right. We're gonna jump, 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 jump in the river. Jump, 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 everybody. If he goes to the left, then we go to the left. If he goes to the right, then we go to the right. We're gonna dance, 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 dance in the river. Dance, 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 everybody. If he goes.
We're going deeper, deeper in the river of love tonight. We're going deeper, deeper. We're going deeper, deeper. We're going deeper, deeper.
this broken land. All authority, all authority, every victory is yours. Come on, declare tonight.
You are worthy, Lord. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Burn like a fire in us, God. Burn like a fire in us, God.
God we serve. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we welcome you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We're here to celebrate tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You guys look great. Hey, why don't we just give a real quick hand to the worship team. Amen. Come on. You know, I know that's one of the things that Pastor Brian and Brenda will miss is the worship here at Victory. It's so sweet. Amen. You guys, thank you so much. You know, there's something about worship. The I heard one time that when they're playing music and the worship is playing that that worship is holding back the hordes of hell amen and i believe it also prepares our heart for the word amen and opens takes us into a place of intimacy with him hallelujah well those of you who do not know us we are the pastors of victory of sarasota You may be seated. Hallelujah. <laughs> we actually had our official night alone on Tuesday. <sighs> if you missed it, it was the best message of the year. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. He preached. That's why he preached. <laughs> It the was, first I will year. tell you this, it was a great word. And in fact, we just want to share a little bit of that with you tonight. But one of the things I want to tell you that I believe was just prophetic in what God's going to do this year here at Victory is that there was a woman who came in and gave her life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, come on. That's what yeah. standing for. Amen. Yeah. You know, we, we never, ever, ever want to close the service without an altar call. Because you never know who is in the house. Amen? And people need to know that this is a safe place. Yeah. You know, I always think about my sister. I, you know, somebody else led her to Jesus, not me. You know? And you know why? It's because I assumed can I tell you something? We assume nothing here at Victory at Sarasota. Amen? We believe that we give everybody the opportunity. And it was so exciting because not only did she give her life to Christ, somebody else rededicated their life. Amen? Amen? God is good. God. Amen? And it was a great word. Um, we are going to share that word with you in just a couple minutes. But before we do that, we just... We are so excited tonight to have Pastor Thomas with us and his beautiful wife, Pastor Kathy. Come on, give him a hand. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. You honor us. Yeah. Yes, hallelujah. I hope you have on your stretchy jeans tonight because you're going to be going up and down a lot. Hallelujah. You do. You honor us by coming. And I know how much you mean to them. It's just a privilege for us to be able to finally meet you. We're just so excited to have you here tonight. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And then, come on, Joey Gibbs is in the hall. Rock and roll, Joey. Come on, Joey. He is just itching, Dan. family since we've known the Gibbs. He's babysat Anthony and Christina. Introduced them to WWF wrestling. WWE. Hello, Joey. By the time we got home, Pick they had all the moves down. <laughs> Picked him up from school in a bandana, leather jacket and shades, peeking in on the windows. They called me up, the, the principal. 
such a great guy, believer, full of God, full of faith. He says, man, that is a sweet spirited kid. He said, but boy, he sure scared all those teachers peeking in the room. Well, it wouldn't have been so bad, but it was right after 9-11. <laughs> We love you, Joey. So glad you're here to celebrate with us. Amen. And most importantly, we have here tonight with us, besides Jesus, of course, is the gift. And Josiah and Tori, we just want to honor you. It's a night of honor. Amen. Yeah. We want you to know how much we love you and appreciate all that you've done for Victory, for Sarasota, for the surrounding cities and the counties and the, just this whole area. The What you've sown into the city, I believe, will be everlasting fruit. Amen? Amen. And, and our goal, just like we've said before, <laughs> is not to come here and replace them or do something totally different. No, our goal is to come here and to start where they finished. Amen? Our goal is Amen. to come here and to run the race strong. Amen? And to continue on with what God has for our city. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And so we want to thank all of you for coming. Those of you who we have not met yet, we're looking forward to meeting you. I'm Pastor Fran and this is Pastor Tony. Faith is our last name. It's F-A-E-T-H. And uh, we're just, just excited. Yeah. Listen, is there anybody here for the very first time? Is this your first, anybody, first time visitor tonight? No? We're all, all right, good? we're family. Okay. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Then I get their Hallelujah. gift. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we're, um, we just, before we get going, we, we want to receive our regular tithes and offerings for the evening. But, you know, one of the things Pastor Tony and I always like to do is we like to share a little bit about the reason we give. And the reason we do that, we told them on Tuesday, is because for seven years I was in church, a church that did, did not teach on tithing. And I learned how to tithe outside of church. And, you know, for seven years I was robbed of that blessing. Amen? And I don't want to see anyone in here robbed. Amen? Yeah. And this being the first Saturday night service of the year, I just want to share this scripture with you. I will. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited about giving tonight? In Proverbs 3.9. It says, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. Yeah. So thy barns will be filled with plenty and the presses shall burst out with new rhyme. Come on. How many of you want that this year for 2014? I do. For some of you, this is your very first tithe of the year. This, and can I tell you something? If you're not a tither tonight, you can get right in two seconds. It only takes two seconds to get right. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord, and write the check. Amen? <laughs> I'm telling you, I have no problem teaching on tithe. It changed my life. That's right. And if you're not living the victorious life, you need to get a hold of this biblical principle that will change your life. Amen? Amen. You know, in Malachi, the word says that he will rebuke the devourer on your behalf. Can I tell you something? Nowhere else in that Bible does Jesus say he'll rebuke the devourer for your, on your behalf. Everywhere else, he tells you to rebuke the devourer. But when it comes to giving, it comes to tithing, when you take a hold of that, mm. you honor God, he honors you. Amen. And I'm not talking giving. Hello? I'm not talking giving. If you, if you want to know what tithe is, it's 10%. That's what the word tithe means. Off the top. You can tithe off the net if you want, but it will not bring the blessing off the gross. 
because your first fruits is what you give off of amen yeah and i'll tell you i am zealous i am adamant about training people up to be tithers because it's the only way to live amen. there's no other way any other way and you're living beneath what he did at calvary yeah come on That's it. come on That's it. This is shouting, preaching. I'm doing really good up here. Well, the reason why she's so adamant about this is because she loves you. She loves you. And she wants to see the best for you. I want to see the best for you. God wants to see the best for you. Amen. Don't allow yourself to, to, to limit God. See, when, when, when you don't... You see, we're, we're, we're called to be doers of the word, not just hearers only. Amen. You know, I, I see so many people in church where they, they hear it, they sit, they hear it, they hear it. But when it comes down to bare bones tactics, they, they're, they're, they're short of doing. And we, listen, Victory and Sarasota, we're doers of the word, right? Come on. Amen. Say this, I'm a doer of the word. I'm a doer of the word. I follow what Jesus tells me to do. And I walk in victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ushers, Amen. if you would just prepare yourselves to receive the offering. If anybody needs an offering envelope, just lift your hands and the ushers will be more than happy to serve you. Make your checks out to Victory at Sarasota. Be led of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Listen to what God tells you and you won't go wrong. Amen. While you're preparing to give big tonight, i just like to introduce our children to you as they're preparing to give. Can I tell you something? My children will never be in debt. Hallelujah. Because they're tithers. I wish somebody would have told us that before we got married. Amen. But they'll never lack because they're tithers. Amen. Amen. Anthony, Christina, and Joe, why don't you and stand up give, for a minute? And they will give under their parents generously. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christina. Tony. And Joe, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are we ready God. to give tonight? Yeah. Our offerings, right? There. Our time is right up there. Where is it? And those of you, you know, one of the things that uh, in the white elephant, the party that we had in the leaders meeting, where's Maria? There's Maria. Um, and was it Christian? Who, who else had? Who ended up with it? Yes, absolutely. So. <laughs> They we, fought, they fought over we that. Had, we had brought a chalkboard, a Christmas chalkboard with a big wire polka dot ribbon on it. And I wrote on it, debt free in 2014. It was the very first gift picked and it was the last one taken of the night. Mm -hmm. And everybody that tried to steal it, we took their pictures with it. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna do a class debt free in 2014. Come on. Amen? Come on. How do you want to be debt free in 2014? Yeah. yeah. I do. Amen? That's how I want to live. Amen? Amen. Do you have your offerings? Are you ready? Your tithes and your offerings? Say this with me. Jesus. Jesus. As I give. As I give. It shall not return void. It shall not return void. It shall go forth. It shall go forth. To accomplish. To accomplish. All that you called it to. All that you called it to. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as you give today. Yes. Father, we thank you for blessing this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Give it. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, it's Scotty. It's warm up here. Bless you, man. I love the keys back there. Thanks, Scotty. Just makes me want to flow all night long. <laughs> I thought he was going to. <laughs> Thank you, man. I, I love you. Awesome. Praise God. Come on, give Scotty Come on, hand. Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we have a fun fill. Who likes fun? All right. Praise God. We're, we're a group that likes fun. So um, there's so many things that, that, that we want to do tonight. Um, of course, we, our main objective is to honor and celebrate the Gibbs for sowing nine plus years into what they have plowed the ground for. This city, this church, everything. I mean, they, I, you know, I, as I thought about it today and I was going around, I'm thinking, man, these guys love Sarasota. They love Sarasota. 
I remember every time I'd see him, oh, we love Sarasota. And, and I'd get so jealous. <laughs> Thinking they're living in Sarasota. You know, but you know what? The unique thing is that they, as much as they love Sarasota, they love God more. Amen. And they love God so much that they're going to chase after him wherever he calls them to Thank go. You, Jesus. And they're obedient to that. And we want to honor that tonight. And the first thing that, that, that we want to do is we, we have a, a very unique video that we'd like to share. So do we need to dim the lights or anything? To do. There you go. Hey, yeah. for the commissionings that you have given him to be a strong man of God in the military. We both want to say thank you and good luck on your journey. So long there. Well, as you can tell here, I'm going through my morning ritual of shaving and I was just thinking it's the night that you I am believing sometimes you both have been a guiding hope to keep me strong. And I know my son was very grateful and is very grateful for the commissionings that you have given him 
to be a strong man of God in the military. We both want to say thank you and good luck on your journey. So long, farewell, Avita saying goodbye. Asha, Asha, to ya and ya and ya. Do 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 do. Renee and I want to thank you, Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren, for enriching our lives in so many ways. We think what we'll cherish the most is the passion in which you led us into the presence of God. We'll take that legacy with us for the rest of our lives. We miss you already. We love you. Do 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 do. Hey there, Pastors Brian and Bren. I just wanted to say thank you so much for welcoming me into your Victory family. The last three years have literally changed my life, and I would not be the person that I am today if it wasn't for the both of you and your family. Thank you for allowing me to learn about worship in the spirit and freedom. Thank you for creating an atmosphere that is open to learning. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for welcoming my friends and I into your home when you had young adult studies um, and yeah, learning together. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your lives and thank you for becoming a part of our lives. I love you and I will miss you, but I'm so happy for you. See you soon. Are we live? Hey, Pastors Brian and Bren. We're so thankful that the Lord led us to victory seven years ago, and we're so grateful for all the good seed that you've sown into our lives. We're going to miss you guys, but uh, we know the Lord has good things in store for you as well as victory. Thank you. Thanks for doing life with us. Thanks for your teaching and your encouragement and your example. Your kids are amazing, and we have been so blessed to know you. We uh, send you off with our best blessing and all our love. We thank you going to miss you. Come back with your books. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Pastors Brian and Brent. Uh, Kristen and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being godly man and woman and great pastors. And we love you and we're going to miss you and we hope you have a good trip. Yes, we just want to thank you for uh, supporting us uh, personally and praying for us and encouraging us and challenging us through all these years. We love you both and your children so very much, and we're going to miss you. Pastor Brian. Hey, Pastor Brian. Pastor hey, Pastor Brian. Brian. We wanted to take a couple minutes. Just 30, to, seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds <laughs> to tell you how much you've impacted our lives. <laughs> Forever changed. Man, we sure are going to miss you guys. It's just been a great journey, and we've really loved it. And we're looking forward to hear from your new journey. Mm -hmm. We bless you. We're proud of you. We support you. We're forever connected. And we really appreciate your faithfulness to be willing to take this journey. Yes. We thank you. We love you guys. We love you. Hey, gang. I just wanted to talk about nutrition for 30 seconds before you headed out to Texas. You know, Texas is known as the biggest state. Everything's bigger in Texas, like trucks and steers and appetites. You know, appetites are very large. and. And I'm concerned that you could be going in that direction. So, one word, salad. In fact, you know, in fact, Dallas spelt backwards is enunciated as salad. You know, so it's something to think about. Also, remember, there's no basement in the Alamo. So, I don't know when you'll need that, but... Ditka. Ditka. Hello, Pastor Brian and Bren. Hi, Pastor Brian and Bren. We just want to tell you that we have grown to love and appreciate you in the past year and a half since we've been attending Victory of Sarasota, and um, we're going to really miss you. We know you are leaving us in great hands um, with Pastors Tony and Fran and their family, and um, but we want to wish you the best as you're going out for this new venture in the Lord. And so we want to say thank you, and we'll be praying for you and your family, and all the best to you. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, Pastor Brian. Hey, Pastor Brian. Just wanted to thank you for starting and establishing Victory in Sarasota. The community means a great deal to us. I came back to Christ, and Christina came to Christ in great part because of your preaching and your passion. Um, we just love you guys, and, and we miss you. Thank you also for your hunger for Jesus. Um, 
We pray it never stops, it only grows more, and uh, we bless you, we love you, and we love your whole family, and we wish you all the best. Can you say Panthers? Panthers. We have learned so much from you. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's not. And the example that you are for Jesus really shows what the heart of God is like. What he said, and you know what, when we came to victory in 2009, you recognized and saw that we needed to just be put on a shelf for a while, and you let us. Thank you. We honor you. We love you. We're going to miss you tremendously and look forward to your visits coming back. And I'll always be praying that God give you those joyful moments filled with lots of tickles. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Love you. This is Brian and Bren. We thank you for all of your impartations of love and honor. Yes, and Pastor Brian and Bren, Josiah and Victoria, we just bless your joys and may they all come true. And we bless your faith. May you draw so close to God, you can feel his breath. Mm -hmm. And we just bless the vision and purposes of God on your life. Amen. Go. Go. Release, Release the, the fire. fire. Yay, God. <laughs> we'll we miss, miss you. you. We, we love, love you. you. Hi, Gibbs family. I just want you to know how much I love you and appreciate you all. Uh, Pastor Brian and Brenda, the culture of love and honor that you have established here at Victory is amazing. It has just shown me and brought more love and honor to me than I never knew existed or ever, ever felt before. And I just want you to know I appreciate you for that. And the word I hear for your family is champions. Champions in the kingdom and champions for the nations. I love you. Hi, Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren. We just wanted to tell you how greatly we're going to miss you. We also <laughs> want to remember what we were going to say the first time. Hey, we just wanted to say that we greatly appreciate the fact that you've always uh, spoken the truth. Uh, every time that you've brought us the word, we've always gone away with an aha moment, and you have just enriched our lives. And we just want to say that we, we love, love you guys. guys. What I love most about them is that they've opened up their home and their city to make us part of their family. What I love most about the Gibbs is that they're not only a part of my past, but they're a part of my future. What I love most about the Gibbs is that they're Bears fans. Go Bears! Pastor Brian and Bren, we want to take just a minute and thank you for the example you guys have been to us and our family. Just how you walk out your Christianity, it's amazing. And we are so excited for you and your future. Yeah, future's really bright, you guys. Really bright. Light the Fire of the Ministries is kicking up again. Mm -hmm. We've been praying. We've been believing with you. And I've become so excited that, well, Heather says I've become obsessed with fire. <laughs> How silly is that? I, I don't really see it. I don't. But but it doesn't matter because yeah. it's about you guys right. and the impact you've had on our lives. That's and we right. can't thank you enough. I mean, we were just talking the other day. Probably the most impactful thing has been. Mm, cleanliness is next to godliness. Oh, that principle. You walk it out, man, all the time, you know? Yep, I mean, yep. how they look. How you look, oh, dress, yeah. snappy, wow, and all the, the way. House. Yep, the house. That's ah. what I was going to say. Ah. Just took it. Even it's this so New clean. Year's resolution yeah. was influenced yeah. by that. We're and doing and, it. and we, we did it. We did it. <laughs> we, we worked so hard. I'm so Yay. proud of us, honey. The place looks yeah, amazing. It it's spacious. It I can know, breathe. And it's thanks to. And it's thanks to Gibbs. You. We love you guys. Love You're amazing. Love you. Keep up the good work. Texas yeah, is yeah. not too far away. We'll no, come and visit. No. This one goes out to the ones we love, Pastor Brian and Brian Gibbs and family. We so love you guys, and we so appreciate you. And uh, the one thing that we appreciate most is how you've carried the glory of God and how you've shared that with your Victory family. And he's calling you all to be pioneers. You truly are pioneers in the faith. And we love you guys. Yes. We do, and we just send our blessings with you, and just know that you will always remain in our hearts, and uh, you guys are just treasures. And also remember that there are places in Dallas where the streets have no names. Yeah, it's like the final countdown before they leave. Yes, it is. We love you guys. Yes. Hope to hear you on the Mexican radio. Whoa. 
What do we love most about the Gibbs family? Everything. That's right. We love everything about you guys. But I tell you, the thing that we love the most is the fact that you guys love God with your whole heart and that you've entrusted us with the people at Victory of Sarasota. We are forever grateful. We are. We love you guys so much. Buck! Buck, what did you learn from Pastor Brian and Brenda? Oh, how to praise the Lord. Oh, way to go, Buck. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Our pet bear. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. I, I will say this. This is the most creative church that I have ever been in. You guys are awesome. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, that was so good. That yeah, was awesome. How exciting. Isn't that going to be fun to watch? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, at this time, we want to welcome the Gibbs family to the platform. And uh, we've got a few seats. They're not hot seats. We won't. Uh, 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 maybe. But we'd love to have you guys come. So let's, let's, let's come on. Let's, let's give them a big victory welcome. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Yes. Bears forever, man. Yeah. Whoa. Hallelujah. I want you guys just to... I'm, we're we're going to give you an opportunity to, to, to speak, but we, we just want to just speak a few things over you guys, and, and uh, we have some gifts for you, and we just want to share a little bit, and so just, down? you can sit down, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead and sit down, feel comfortable, holla. Texan or what? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, um, we do have some things, but we're kind of, I'm going to scoot this just a little so I can look at you guys just a little bit, get a little closer to you. It is 300 pounds. You guys just got the heaviest one in the head. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know. They do everything big in Texas. For, for most of you, you know um, our story. Um, and I'm not going to go over that again tonight. But we've known um, this, these awesome, I'm ringing a little bit. Uh, we've known these awesome people for 15 years. 15 years. Long story short, they were going to stay a week. They stayed seven months. And not, and not one time we wanted to kick them out. They you know, were the awesome. The truth is we didn't want them to leave. We didn't. We didn't want them to leave. Um, and that's how we built our relationship. It was before they even had children. And then, then I they... I thought they were going to name her Faith. I don't know where Tori came from. <laughs> but... The, the, the truth is, a lot of times, you know, when, when, when you send someone off, uh, it can be sad. But this isn't sad. This is a time of joy. Amen. Amen. And uh, they are, they're ready for Texas. Look at this. Please tell me you're not going to be a Cowboys fan. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. But... Um, Tonight is a night of honor. We want to honor you. That's why we've asked for your, your pastors to come. And, they, and we're going to have them up here in a, in a few moments. And, you know, there's, there's just some things as I, as I got before the Lord the um, last couple of days. And, and I was looking at, at honor. And uh, the Lord began to just reveal some things to me. And, but then he, he kind of turned, turned me a little bit into a place where... He said, you know what they're going to do? They're, they're going to possess the land. Joshua possessed the land. 
In fact, if you have your Bibles, I just want you to turn with me real quick to Joshua 1. And I just want to truly prophetically read this over them tonight. Um, we know that that Moses passed on and, and, and Joshua was, was left to, to take him into the promised land. And in verse, in verse 3 of Joshua 1, it says, Every place that the sole of your feet... And I began to think, every place that the Gibbs soles feet land upon. Come on! They're going to land in Texas. Come on! But that's not where it ends. Because God's got so much more for you. I mean, this is only the beginning. This, this is the first step of, of faith, stepping out and saying, Lord, I know you're there. You're going to meet me there. And then he's going to begin to send you out. And you know that, that God is going to use you in a mighty way. And it says, every place that the sole of your feet will tread upon, I have given you. Listen. God has given you Texas, Come on. Dallas, every state in this nation, every country upon the face of this earth. Hallelujah. And then he gives him, he begins to give him instructions. And he says in verse 6, well let's back up to verse 5. It says, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. God will not leave you nor forsake you. He's, he's with you. You know that. But I tell you what, it's nice to have it spoken over our lives, isn't it? God, God is not going to leave you. He's not going to forsake you. And it goes on to say, be strong and be of good courage. For to this... People, you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. The Lord is going to prosper you wherever you go. It goes on to say this, This book of the law shall, shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. You will have good success. Brian, Brenda, Josiah, Tori, are you ready? I know you are. Then it goes on to say in verse 8, have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord is going to be with you wherever you go. You know that. But I'm going to tell you what, God is preparing an awesome, awesome thing for you. And as you have opened up your house to us, as you have prepared the way for us, and it was just last week that you passed the baton. What an awesome weekend it was for us. What an awesome preparation that you had, had prepared for us. You know, years of friendship, but who would have ever thought that it would come to this? All we do is just trust the Lord, right? That's, that's your next journey too. All you do is just trust the Lord. And doors are going to open. God's favor is upon your life. On your family. Wherever you go. God will give you that land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited for you guys. I am too. And with that, I'd like to have your pastor. No, no, let's do this first. Let's do this. Hold on one moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what we'd like to do because this is a night of honor. If, uh, if someone could get that. You know, Jesus honored people in many different ways. But one of the ways that he honored people was by washing their feet. And we'd like to wash your feet tonight. The way Jesus did it and honor the, the culture and the time was because the, the ground was dirty and it was filthy. We're very thankful today that we don't have to walk in sandals everywhere we go. But you could in Sarasota, hallelujah. <laughs> 
Not in Ohio, not in Illinois, right? And what we want to do is we want to honor you by washing your feet, to cleanse your feet before you go. So when you step upon that ground, when you step upon that place, you guys ever had your feet washed? Yeah. You want to take your shoes off? I'll wash your feet if you want. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Quit putting them on the spot. <laughs> you know, God is, he is great. Brittany, can I see that just for a second? Yes. We want you to know what a privilege this is for us to wash their feet. Because one of the things that they have done here for us is prepare the way. And they have done that with such grace, integrity, and honor that we cannot even begin to say how we feel. They know we love them, but now we just want to honor them. Amen. With, let me just say this, with honor comes authority. Amen? And God has given you authority. You know that. But when you talk about authority, there's many different things. And we're thinking, you know, what, what, what can we do for the, for the Gibbs that would always make them feel that you guys know that you're always welcome here. You, you planted this. This is really, you probably feel like it's your home. God will, will do that where you go. But with authority um, is represented by, by keys. And, and we would like to give you guys the keys that you can always come back to Victory at Sarasota. Anytime, any day. And they're also the keys that represent Sarasota too. Now these aren't keys that you could probably just carry upon your keychain. <laughs> but let's let me let me. Yeah, go ahead and read those scriptures. What do they do? These keys don't just represent Sarasota and our hearts, but they represent the kingdom. Amen. Because in Matthew sixteen nineteen it says, "I have given you the keys of heaven." And and whatever you bind on heaven shall be bound. Yes. On earth. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose in heaven, in, you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen? And all power and authority has been given to us. Amen? And that power and authority has been given to Brian and Brenda. Amen? As they go into Dallas, as they go to Texas, as they go to the utmost parts 
We just want to remind them that they have the keys to unlock the kingdom. Amen? That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And you're welcome. Thank you. And the kids' gifts. Do we have? We also have gifts for um, Josiah and Tori. We have two gifts that we believe prophetically speak of who they are, but then we also have an amazing gift that we'll share when we get there. Who <laughs> knows? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Terry. Come on, Terry's done a great job tonight, hasn't he? Yeah. Thank you, Terry. Hallelujah. Josiah, this is for you. Hallelujah. And Tori's is, is hers there? It's heavy. You can open it, Josiah. Josiah, this gift represents your voice in the kingdom of God. Mm. You have an amazing voice. And it's not, a, I, I don't know if I've even ever heard you sing, but you have a voice to speak truth into the lives. Amen. And I believe that you have a voice that will change your generation. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and this is for you, Victoria. Tori. It's not it's a, a dog. dog. <laughs> This so represents her to me. She shines everywhere she goes Amen. and represents love. Amen. And she's very groovy too. Amen. And it's hip and groovy. Amen. But this gift we want to give you from the Vic from the family here at Victory, we want you to know that when you're gone, we want you to have fun when you get there. So this is for Josiah and Tori, and you can include your mom and dad if you like. Open it up. Do it's we know a red which one Ferrari. it is? Here you go. A red <laughs> Ferrari. We don't have cable. We've been watching bedtime stories a lot. Here you go. That represents it. Open that up, Josiah. That's exactly what it is, but it's kind of, I want, I. Show them what it is. It is, turn it around. It is a season pass for their family for Six Flags over Texas. Amen. And the water park. Yeah, and the water park. And the water park. Amen. Because we figured you're going to need a little water when you get there. And we there. got you the Go Pass. <laughs> Free parking, Go Pass, we went the whole deal. Amen. Oh, you guys are awesome. Come on. Thank They're you. awesome. Amen. They did it. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Wow. Hallelujah. Okay, and so are we having. Wait. No, these are for Pastor okay. All right. Thomas and Pastor Kathy. Okay, all right. These are just to thank them for coming. Amen. Well, at this time, we would like to welcome them to the, uh, the podium, the platform. Come on, give them a great big hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor. Bless you. Bless you. And we'll set things right here for when you head down. Pastor Kathy, yours is pink, of course. Isn't she gorgeous? She is. Bless you. We're going to slip back here. Let us uh, first greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is an honor for us to be here. Over nine years ago, we had the privilege of of uh, being here in Sarasota for our very first time and laying hands upon Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren and the leadership that night 
and uh, helping to set this church in order. The very name, Victory at Sarasota, that the Lord had given Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren, uh, we have now adopted up north, Victory North, and there are now eight campuses called Victory At uh, in our area. And uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but it has been an honor all of these years to be here with you, church family, to get to know so many of you, uh, to be in different leadership functions, and to, um, uh, someone said on, on the video, uh, to do life together. And that's significant, it truly is, but it is an honor for us to be here. We both have a few things we want to share from our heart, and we're going to be directing it, uh, much of this to the Gibbs. I have a scripture upon my heart that's been upon my heart for this year uh, of 2014, and I, I really felt like the Lord, uh, just two verses, uh, very familiar verses, but we came to know the two of you, of course, first of all, meeting you in Dublin as we ministered there at a church. Then we got to know you at, uh, there at Cleddy's place in Kentucky. I still remember our time at Steak and Shake. And, uh, but then our hearts really got knit during a time actually of transition in your lives. I can still remember, I have a very vivid memory, and I remember sitting in my driveway in my uh, Chrysler Town & Country minivan and talking, you and I talking on the phone and talking about some difficulties in transition. And it was actually through that difficulty that our hearts started to knit together in a far deeper way. And we had the privilege then of being a part of planting this church. I still remember the video that you showed of Sarasota. It looked like the most beautiful place we'd ever seen. You probably showed that in the winter in Ohio. <laughs> and it probably was right around the winter of that year. And, uh, uh, and it, it has been a privilege, and we've walked a journey with you. I don't know if anyone has walked the journey closer than you and I. The lowest of lows, the highest of highs. Very familiar verse. It's where the whole faith thing starts in Scripture. Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said to Abram, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. And you, all the families of the earth, shall be blessed. You know, the way we leave is the way we enter. And we had the privilege of being a part of you working through a transitional time. And you were able to leave properly. As the scripture says, as much as lies within you, live at peace with all men. And you left properly, you left with a right heart. It enabled you to come to Sarasota with a right heart. You came here with a dream. There was, there was no people. There was the handful of leaders that night in that building that we laid hands upon. And now we have walked this journey through these years. And, and I believe these scriptures, the way you're leaving, listen, you've done it so right. Because you and I have talked through this journey. More often than not, it's done wrong. Transition, church, probably most of you know it. That transition is, is the most difficult thing to walk through. It's one of the things that I do in my apostolic uh, function. And it is a difficult thing. This man was determined and told his leadership, listen, this is almost always difficult. Let's begin to declare it's not going to be. I remember you and I talking about that. And th he has done so many things that, that, that you know, I, I get called apostle. I get called bishop. I get called pastor. I get called a lot of bad things I won't say. <laughs> but the most honoring thing is when I get called dad. That's, that's the privilege in your lives. And 
honestly, Josiah and, and Victoria are like, like our grandchildren when we hug them and hold them. And you've been in our homes, but more importantly, you're in our hearts. And because you're leaving Sarasota, you're not leaving our hearts at all. There's a couple other things I want to say in a moment, but I want mom, I want my wife, we, she's mom, okay? I want mom to share a few things from her heart with you, and then I'll just close with a thought. We are just so extremely proud of you to call you our kids and our grandkids. We have walked a journey with you many years ago where God gave you a vision and he gave you a city. And you came and your feet landed here and you brought with it the light of God. You brought with it joy and liberty and freedom. You brought with it uh, life in itself. And you, you have spread that and look at the result. You have birthed that dream. And now God's saying, I'm going to give you a new dream. And we've entered into the new year, and the new year is the, the year of the open door in the Jewish calendar. And we know what the open door is that you are going through. But I feel like God's saying it's a bigger door than you're even envisioning. And, and I believe this is a, a season of the voice. God is saying that it's time for his people to begin to speak their faith. Because when you begin to speak your faith, your faith joins with the heavens and releases those things that are impossible in the natural realm. So I want to just make that declaration. I want my voice to declare over this family tonight, if I may. I declare over the Gibbs family... That this season, as you walk and you speak to the door to open up, as you walk through that door with boldness, with clarity, with details, with vision, that it will not just be a normal door, but in fact it will be the door to the new normal. For your life will not be normal as it has been. You will go to a level in God when the door opens up, it will release from it the things of the heavens that you have dreamed about. Out. The vision that he has placed and you have breathed and you have spoken and you have prayed about and you have declared will begin to open up to you with that doorway. And when it opens up, it will release the supernatural power of God. It will release the deliverance anointing. It will release the fire of God. It will release dreams and it will release creative ideas. It will release finances as well. Begin to look for the finances for they will be released when the door begins to open. And the second thing I want to declare over you is that the mountains that would come up and rise up against you would be cast down. For God has told us that as we speak to the mountain, as we release the faith through our words, as we say to those things that would want to hinder us to be removed, that they will quickly and automatically re be removed from our lives. And so I declare it over your lives that anything that the enemy would want to put before you, any mountain, any obstruction, we say tonight, right now, that it be removed. And we declare that because it will no longer be able to stand before you, that the impossible will become possible to you. And I would also like to declare over your vision, because God, when he took a man by the name of Ezekiel, and he put him in front of a vision, he said, now speak to the vision. So yeah. I'm going to speak to your vision of Dallas, yes. your vision of not just one state, but many states, your vision of the nations coming forth, and I declare that that vision will birth. That which has been growing and growing and growing, that seed of vision that is bigger than you, will be birthed forth before you. We declare that the vision will come to life. We declare that it will take form and take shape right before your very eyes. And we declare, last of all, that the breath of God, we speak to the spirit of the living God, that it would move upon this vision, that it would bring life to the vision, that it will bring purpose and destiny to the vision, that as you speak to that vision, as you speak to the vision and you speak to the wind, the spirit of God, that it would breathe upon it and bring purpose to it. 
And I just want to share with you that I saw a vision as I was sitting in the seat. I saw the two of you. And you were standing in front of this huge globe. It was just a huge globe. It was a lot like the one in our World Prayer Center that you've seen. It was, it was just huge. And the two of you were standing there with a sword. But the sword was so heavy it took both of you gripping at it with both your hands holding on to it and there was a flame that was coming out of the sword and as you stood there you placed the sword on this big globe and as you placed it there it landed on the state of Texas and it was burning the state of Texas but all of a sudden the wind began to blow and as the wind began to blow the globe began to move and as the globe began to move as a globe will do as you give it a little bit of effort as it began to blow, blow as the wind began to blow on it and it began to move the sword began to move as well and it as the sword began to move it began to hit different states it was like the wind took it and directed it to the states it needed to land upon and then I heard the Lord speak and say to you that do not just say to the states that I am coming for you but he said ask of me and the nations will be yours as well. So I speak to you to say in clarity and distinction and authority and in power that you will have the nations. So declare the nations that God puts upon your hearts to declare. For he will blow the wind and take the sword and direct it to the nations he's going to take you to. And I just declare prosperity. I declare the power of God. I declare that that vision is reality from this day forth. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Woo! Why don't you come over here, Peter? Can I give him a hug? <laughs> well, it's always hard to follow my wife. <laughs> Glory to God. Let me close with a story. Because sometimes when we hear a story, uh, it just, it's why Jesus told stories. What we have in nine years, what we've walked through, the highs and the lows that I've talked about, I think I shared this story with you before, but it has to do with Florida, it has to do with the state. There was a couple that had moved down from up north, you know, to retire, and they were here for several years, but unfortunately the, the husband died, and, and so this lady was elderly, she was alone, the kids lived up north, and so she decided to buy a bird and she loved this little bird she had never had a bird before but she bought a lot of books on birds she called the bird chippy she loved chippy she took care of chippy so well there's a moral to this story for you and she cared for chippy so so very very well never had a bird before and she noticed that you got to clean the bird's cage. And so she, she thought, well, I, I really love Chippy. And so she was very, very careful. But she opened the little door and she made sure Chippy was safe. And she decided to clean the whole cage. And she got down to the bottom where all the nasty stuff is. And she decided to use her vacuum cleaner. And so, no, no, no. She was protecting Chippy. Don't report her, okay? <laughs> She was very protective of Chippy, and so she began to, you know, suck up. And she was, uh, Chippy was fine, okay? Then the phone rang. And when the phone rang, she, she got distracted, and she turned to the phone, and <laughs> little Chippy got sucked into the canister. Now, everybody here has looked inside of the nastiness of the canister, and hey, the good news is Chippy was alive, but Chippy was in the midst of all that nastiness, all the dust and dirt and nastiness, but he survived, so she got little Chippy out, and she looked at Chippy, and he was covered with all this nasty soot and junk and dog hair and you name it, you know, and, it, and, and so, but she noticed that where she was, she was close to a sink, so she turned on the cold 
water, uh, you know, full blast, and she put little Chippy in, and 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 she because she had to get him clean. So little Chippy got all the dust off, but he was he almost drowned, and he was wet as could be. And birds don't like water, and and she thought, oh my, what do I do? And then she remembered that she had a hair dryer, and. You know, she forgot that the hairdryer only got stuck on high, but she held little Chippy and she blew him dry and she put him back in the cage. And that story got out. And here's the part for the Gibbs family. The story got out. And somebody came and interviewed her from the local little newspaper. And, and after the end of the interview, here was the question, how's Chippy? He says, well, Chippy's okay, but Chippy doesn't sing much anymore. Pastor Brian and Bren, I've walked it with you. There's times where you've been sucked in and made dirty and gone through all kinds of stuff. There's times where the devil tried to steal your song. But I can testify about the whole Gibbs family. You're still singing. You're still singing. I told you before, you, you in nine years walked through some things that in 35 years we've not walked through. That's just the truth. That's not made up. And a lot of you do not know that. But I can tell you, folks, these, these people are the same people behind the scenes that they are on the platform. And uh, Pastor Brian, Pastor Bren, Victoria, and Josiah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a mom and dad in your life that are privileged to be so and that are so proud of you. We bless you. May you walk in the favor and strength of God. May his courage be continually yours. As you go, may you have greater unity in your family than you've ever had. May you fall more in love with God, more in love with each other, and may this adventure be the greatest adventure that you have ever walked. May you wake up every day with a fascination of his favor. May, may you just feel the wind of God at your back. May the Lord provide for you and bless you spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, as well as financially. And I break every lie of the devil off of you. Everything, every word curse that has ever occurred in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I break every word curse off of you. I demand the favor of God and the blessing of God over your family. You no longer, every word curse that has ever come against you in this city, I break it in Jesus' name. And may the blood of Jesus Christ prevail over the Gibbs family in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the Lord had given me a scripture earlier, and I didn't, didn't say it, but I think it's very timely now for the Gibbs family. And it's Isaiah 61, 7. It says, instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Isaiah 61, 7. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Gibbs family, everlasting joy Hallelujah. is yours. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, what we'd like to do is, is uh, have the elders and their wives come forward. If you would, please. Hallelujah. You know, Elders. what, and I know most of you, some of you have been with them for nine years, some of you have been with them a year. If you've been with them a month, you know that you're looking at the real deal. And 
so thankful, Pastor Thomas, for your just authority that you have taken Amen. as their spiritual parents and as their parents in in the house. And Pastor Kathy, what a great word. So thankful that they spoke those over you. Because the truth is, when you leave here, you leave here as world changers. Amen. You leave here as history makers. There is such an anointing on your life. You have not seen anything yet. Amen. Nothing compared to what God's going to do. Even as we were eating dinner last night and you were telling us how excited you are to go to TJ Jake's church and just, you know, just drink. And I know you love him, you know, and I looked over and I said, he's going to prophesy over you. He's going to have a word. Everywhere you go, God is going to speak to you. Doors are going to be open on your behalf. Rules are going to be changed. People are going to be drawn to you. You have not even begun to see, and I know you've had favor. I can remember driving back from a Daryl Evans and Champagne together, and the enemy. Let me, can I tell you something right now? You need to get ready, because the oil flows from that down, and they, you sat under them. There's an oil and anointing that was on them that is on you. Amen. Amen? And I can remember sitting in the back seat of that car, and just knowing the favor and the anointing that was on your lives. And I can remember the enemy wanting to stir something up in me. And I remember saying, shut up, Satan. I'm next. Amen? Come on. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to see what God does next in your life. Amen. You have not even begun We're excited. to see it. Amen? We can't wait. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 28 says, if you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all of his commandments, which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. Come on. This is the Father's gift to you tonight. He goes on to say, and all of these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. You, I speak over you right now that you're going to be overtaken, Josiah, Tori, Brenda, and Brian, by the blessings of God. That supernatural finances, favor, are going to come your way like never before. We think we've seen, we have not seen yet what God has in store for you. Amen? Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your beast, and the increase of your cattle, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading troll. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. As Pastor Kathy was speaking over you, I saw such a blessing, doors opening, like never before for you to go. And not only will you be blessed when you come into those places, you'll be blessed when you go out, and you'll be blessed when you come back into Dallas. Amen? You're not, Dallas is not your final destination. It is just a place where God is going to use you and to go to the nations. Amen? Hallelujah. And the Lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your very face. Hallelujah. I, I thank God for that. I thank God that every tongue that rises against you will be cast down. I thank God that no evil word spoken against you shall prosper or have any place. That no person will take heed to it. I thank God that you are highly favored. That you're his favorites. Amen. 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 The Lord shall command the blessings upon you. And cause your enemies who rise up against you. They shall come against you one way, but they're going to flee seven. Amen? The Lord shall command the blessings upon you in your storehouse and in all that you undertake. Everything that you touch is going to prosper. Whatever you lay your hands on will be made whole. Amen? And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. God has given you Dallas. It's yours. 
You know, when we came here, I remember hearing Sarasota's yours. And then the next day when we got here, Brenda said, this is your harvest land. There's a harvest for you in Dallas. Amen. But it's not just in that city. That's just where you're going to put your head. No, your harvest is all over. Amen. Amen. You, your harvest is, field is big. Oh my gosh, that's pretty darn exciting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord will establish you as people holy to him as he has sworn to you. And if you keep the commandments of the Lord and walk in his ways, all of the people of the earth shall see that you are called by his name. Thank you, Jesus. And in the presence of the Lord, they shall be afraid of you. It's the fear of the Lord. You know, the fear of the Lord is not we're afraid to do something. It's a reverent fear. It's you love him so much that you don't want to do something wrong. That's the fear I believe God is speaking about with you, Brian. That people are going to love you so much that they would never want to cross your path. Because that's how much they love you. They're going to honor you that much that there's going to be a reverence fear there. That they're going to do it out of reverence and honor to you. Not because they're afraid of what you could do to them. Amen? And the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity. Come on, Pastor Kathy. I love your pastors. Love your pastors. Hallelujah. <laughs> Through the fruit of your body. You know what? That's you, Josiah. That's you, Tori. Prosperity is yours. Amen? You are the king's kids. You are going to be prosperous. You are prosperous. Amen? Hallelujah. And of your ground in the land which the Lord swore you, to your fathers to give you. The Lord shall open up to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give you rain on your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Amen? Amen. And I love this part right here. And he goes on to say, and the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. And you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If you heed to the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and you are careful and watchful to do them. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, that is your scripture. You Amen. are blessed. You are highly favored. Amen. The head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Amen. Pastors Brian and Brent, on behalf of the Victory Board of Directors, we'd like to present you with a special gift that says thank you in so many ways, and it sews in to your future and Light the Fire Ministries. And it's a blessing to all of you. We thank you for everything from day one to today and on into the future. We know the relationship continues. And we're going to give each one of the elders and their wives the men that you handpicked to serve you, come alongside you, just say a word of thanksgiving and blessing to you. Leroy and Maria. Pastor Brian, Pastor Bran, Josiah and Tori. Where do I begin? I guess from the beginning, I've said this, you know, in, in, in our small meetings, but uh, you remember the first thing I said to you that ever, that when I first met you. There was a young teenager, uh, a family that we knew very well, was friends with, told us, said, you need to go see this church, you know, give, visit this church, and, and we did. And uh, I'm not sure if it was the first time we were there or the second time, but you came to the back because we were in the back. Because we were at a place in our life where the fire just wasn't burning as, as bright as it ha had been once in this city. And uh, you came back to where we were <clears throat> and you greeted us. And I looked at you and I said, I hope you're for real. You remember that, don't you? And I remember the answer you gave. And I said, I, that's right. You said, you ask Holy Spirit. He said, I'm for real. Because it was something I sensed on your, on your, on your uh, person, on your life. And there was a mantle that you carried that I had not seen quite like it before in this city. 
in my, there's something that started, uh, the flame began to flicker and began to uh, grow. And uh, I would say that as a result of you being here, because I saw the mantle that God had on your life and you carried it with dignity. And the way you carried that, honoring God with that mantle, so spoke to me. And, uh, and then later on, a couple of years later, because you then uh, asked me if I would be a part of the leadership team and being an elder, and, and we've been since. And you were very gracious with me because in the work that Marie and I, I do, I could not be involved in a lot of the details of church life that we would have so much liked to have been a part of. But because of what we were doing, we, we couldn't be a part of that. And I, I often almost felt guilty about that. And I even shared that with you several times. And you always said, oh, no, no problem, no problem. And so I really appreciate that. And uh, many things I could be saying, but I, when I, there was um, just along the way, you know, as we served together, uh, I sensed that, that this was going to happen several years ago. You know, I, I would ask myself at times, because I, you know, just considering the, uh, the mantle that you were carrying, I said, what are you doing in Sarasota with this little church? And uh, I understood, and I understand maybe a little bit better now, because I saw God grooming you for greater things. Amen. This whole journey here in Sarasota, God used not just to build a company of believers on fire for God, but he was grooming you for greater things. And that's why I'm so excited. And when I, when I heard that you were going to be linking up with Dutch Sheets, I said, yeah, that's a good combination. I said, God is going to do something with that. I'm so excited to hear what God is going to do with that. I'm so excited that you're going to be speaking into the lives of young men and women from other, all over the world that he's bringing to Dallas. You don't, you're not even having to go to them. They're coming there. I believe you will be going, but this is so key as I see it. It's God's strategy. Yeah. So amazing that these young people, hungry for God, open channels like little birds with their mouths open, and you'll be able to feed them. And what, the way God has groomed you and has, has mentored you himself, you're ready. You're ready for that. I can see that. Because, you know, Pastor Thomas shared a little bit of some of the, some of the things that you had to endure in this city. But the thing that always was so challenging to me when I observed the way you would respond to things like that is, your response was always, mighty is our God. Come on. Because God was your portion. Yeah. See, your vision was not your portion. I know you had great visions for this city. And I don't know how much of it actually came to pass. Maybe not much of it. Because you had big vision. I know that. But because God was your portion, you never let that distract you. You kept right on going. And you never lost the vision. I could see that, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, I see legacy in your family. I got the, had the privilege of meeting your brother today. I see legacy in your family when it started with your, with your parents, and it's going to go on with your children. Legacy. It's, it's, I, I, I see amazing things going on, you know. Not just for you, but it's for your children, your children's children. God is going to use you mightily for his kingdom. And I praise God, and I bless you in Jesus' name. I bless you in your going. I bless you in your going. Yes, God will take care of you. I confirm everything that was said tonight with yea and amen. It will come to pass. It, you will see it as God is faithful, so you will see it. Yeah. Amen. Amen.
And with that, I'll say, welcome back anytime. Amen. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> hey, um, hey, <laughs> well, we're going to miss Snickers. <laughs> I love that dog. <laughs> we're going to miss you guys too, Tori Josiah. <laughs> but man, I'm going to miss Snickers, so anyways. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've We've been together a long time, <laughs> and um, nine years, yeah, through ups and downs and everything in between. And um, you've you've been uncompromising the entire time. You you are who you are, Pastor Brian. You are who you are, and. You've given us, you've given us the same thing. You've given us character, hope, um, the same faith, the same tenacity, um, that fire that you guys carry that's going to go to the nations. It's been given to us as a gift. You've given everything away. And so we're, we're going to, we're never going to be the, the same, all of us. We're just, and it's hard to know how to th say thank you. Um, but you guys truly are a gift from above, and you changed our lives forever. And it has been a, an absolute privilege. It's actually been the privilege and the honor of my life to serve you and to love you and to stand with you through the really, really tough times and to also be with you in the good times, but especially the rough times. And it seems that in those times, uh, bonds are formed, relationships are formed, friendships are really sealed, and connections are just cemented. And um, I just want to say thank you, and we love you, and we will forever be your friends. We'll forever love you, be for you, be, be praying for you. We are so thankful for your, for your lives, for your sacrifice, for your obedience. And... Um, we just, I, I just say thank you, and we just honor you. Tina and I honor you tonight, and we love you, and we bless you, and you guys look amazing. You guys look amazing tonight, and we're excited for you, and, you know, wear lots of cowboy hats and eat lots of ribs, and just be your, you know, be yourselves. I know you will, but just be yourselves. And let God just open those doors that he's going to open and just be yourselves and release that fire. And you're going to impart to the young generation character, <laughs> the character of God. Amen. You know, that uncompromising faith to, and purity, purity of heart. And um, it's going to be beautiful to see what the Lord does. So anyways, we love you. We love you so much. Okay, we honor you. I just want to say thank you. Um for sowing into our lives. You have big hearts and you give it all. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for um, just being an example to us just to give God all and to worship with all your heart. And um, we'll miss you, and we love you, and we bless you. Amen. 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 Terry. It's true, it's, it's hard to put into words to say thank you enough for the, uh, the honor that you have given uh, those around you, uh, for the fires that you light, 
We look around and I, I see so many beautiful people, the ones sitting behind you, the, the ones that just spoke, um, the Estelles, the cases, the, I'm going to leave out a bunch of people, but there's a reason that all these wonderful people are here. Amen. You light fires and, and you create fires. People, people love what God does in, in all of you and they see that you're real. And uh, we want to thank you for sharing, <clears throat> sharing your lives with us. It's, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, going to Texas, is, is, it's a beautiful thing. You, you lit a fire here, it's going to burn. You are a huge part in making sure the people that follow in are going to keep that fire burning. And, uh, and you're going to light more fires where you go. Amen. So it really is a beautiful thing. It's a happy thing. And I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you believed in us and allowed us to be a part of it. And uh, we look forward to so many things, to what God's doing in you. And, uh, and to how things unfold in, in Dallas, Texas, and it's beautiful, beautiful plans God has in store for, for your family. Amen. Great things are in store. But thank you so much for giving everything for the strong worth ec ethic that you, uh, that you put on display. Whether people are here or not, I've seen it. And uh, you guys saw everything, and it's a great example. And it's, it's just beautiful to be a part of. And so I just want to say thank you and I bless you guys. It's going to be an awesome, awesome journey. And we look forward to hearing many stories, many stories of what God is doing. But thank you. Love you. You guys know, I've told you so many times how thankful I am for how you've poured yourselves into us and for the example that you are of um, a family, that you put your family ahead of ministry. And that's huge because you can get lost. Ministry can have its own momentum and its own personality, but you guys have been an example to us of the way you honor each other, the way you love each other, and how you stay a tight family. And I, I thank you for that. I thank you for how you've poured yourself into all of us week after week. It's like you were preaching to 8,000 people and it was awesome. And we, we will continue to hear from you. We bless you and thank you so much for your friendship and for being the real deal. It's been said before, but that was the first thing that concerned me because we know about churchianity. But <laughs> thank you. From the first month that I heard you preach, you reignited something in me that had gone dormant for years, almost 20 years. And I said, God, I want to run with this young man. I want to champion him and I want to see you succeed in life. And the, and the motto that we adopted from Victory Youngstown, loving God and loving people and loving life I don't know of anybody that loves life and loves people and loves God the way that you do, Pastor Brian. It has been the joy of my life to share this incredible chapter. It has been, we walk through deep waters, but we walk through it with such joy. I cannot tell you, Pastor Brian is not a man that runs from difficulties. He is a man that goes up and above and over, goes through things too. But my time together serving by your side, you're such a man of integrity. You're such a couple of humility, 
such a couple of love and perseverance. And your lives have, have taught me so much. I've watched you day in and day out for seven years. And I'm so eager to get to church. I can't wait to get here. I love celebrating Jesus with you. I love setting up chairs with you. I love feeding people with you. I love doing everything. I love championing Christ with you above all things. And you have, you're a worshiper. My God, when I came to church, this is, this is a pastor that worships God. He gives everything to the Lord. And I will run with you. I will believe with you. And it has been my honor to serve you as an associate, as an elder, and for you to say to me that you'd like me to serve your great friend, Tony Faith. I said to my wife yesterday, I said to Sabine, I said, honey, I can't, I can't, I don't know of another man that could have walked in here that I would have received and loved with such so quickly and so fastly. And I thank you for doing everything both of you so very, very, very well. I bless you, I believe in you, and I thank you for believing in us and all of our family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Terry. At, at, this, at this time, I, I don't want the elders to go too far. In fact, I'd like for you to come back up here. What I'd like for is Pastor Thomas. Uh, we will anoint them with oil. And I'd like for you to, to pray over them and uh, yeah. release them and, and charge we them. We can do that together. And we can. We can do it together. Yeah. You know, Victoria and Josiah, you, uh, two of you, yeah, I just thought a moment, sitting there as two young people and the way that you handle yourself with such dignity and respect. And I, I, I just want to compliment the two of you. Amen. I mean, I, I love you and I know you so well, but there's a lot of young people your age, even with all the honor going on, that would not be able to sit there publicly and, uh, and, and carry the kind of dignity that the two of you do. And uh, I just want to honor you in that. And I really mean that. J Josiah and, and Victoria watching you from almost really from the time you were born, uh, you put your foot in my mouth one time. <laughs> you were a little wee, little wee baby girl and I, I had to tell you, no, that's my job. I put, I put my own foot in my mouth. I, I, but watching the two of you, you're allowed to smile now, okay, Joseph? <laughs> it is with just the greatest honor tonight. And I, I do, I'm just getting to know Pastor Tony. But these two, Pastor Tony and Pastor Fran, that God laid upon your heart, and they heard from God. I am just tickled pink. I know that doesn't sound too King James Version, but I'm tickled pink. <laughs> uh, because it does speak of legacy. Uh, no one is a success without a successor. And the old model of just giving up and quitting and letting the church, you know, try to figure out what to do and pick up the pieces. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. You did it right. You, you heard from God and worked with the faiths. To, and to, you worked with this leadership team. And it is just a great privilege tonight. I'm going to take of this anointing oil and anoint you and send you forth. There's a difference between going 
and being sent. You know, you know that. That's right. The very root word of apostle is sent. And you are not just picking up your spurs and going to Dallas. You're being sent. You're being sent by those that you consider a, a mom and dad in your life, and we wear that with honor. I remember you sharing with our men one time and saying the honor you give is the honor you receive. And, and that you looked at me not just as your pastor, but as your apostle, because you wanted an apostle's reward and honor to come your way. And, and it has. I mean, we've walked this journey together. And now I take of this anointing oil. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, just left hand. Yes. Yes. Churches, extend your hands this way, please. <laughs> Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I charge the two of you, as you are sent forth from this house, as I said earlier, the way you leave is the way you enter. I charge you to walk forth in victory and in grace. I charge you to walk in grace and truth all the days of your life. I charge the two of you to always keep Jesus Christ first. That with all of the swirl of life around you, all of the distractions that will pull at you, I charge you to continue to be God chasers, pursuers of the heart of God, the mind of God, the two of you with your children, mm. the Gibbs family, I charge the Gibbs family to walk with courage, strength, and dignity. I charge you as you, as you not simply go from Sarasota, but you, as you are sent with the blessing of this house, with the blessing of your spiritual mom and dad, we send you forth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to be champions yes. as it has been said. We send you forth with our voice, the voice of this house, saying you go with our blessing. We do not hold you back from your destiny, but we send you forth into your destiny. Yes. We do not possess you. You are possessed by the living God. And may you go in grace and power and dignity. And may God use you in ways that you could never have imagined. Yes. May there be an unfolding that comes before you of exceedingly and great and wonderful and powerful, powerful things, oh, yes. far yes. beyond what you could ever Thanks. ask or think. May the anointing increase. May you literally, as you drive west, may you, see, <laughs> may you just sense an increase of anointing, an increase of revelation. May doors open before you, doors that are phenomenal, doors that you could have never pried open on your own, but they literally fly open in your presence. May the favor of God rest upon you. And may you as a family, as you settle down in Dallas, may you catch your breath. May you have a sailor. May you be able to enjoy the peace and presence of God as it, like no other time in your life. And may these years ahead, may you see the kiss and the favor of God unlike any other time in your life. You. May not only Dallas and Texas and this nation, but the nations as it has been prophesied over you be open to you. But may your ministry be out of a position of rest. May strife and stress and anxiety and worry find no place in Thank your life. You, Jesus. But may you minister you, not from Mount Sinai, but from Mount Zion. Yes. And may you minister from a position of rest and may your authority come from that position. We charge you we charge you, Pastor Brian, Pastor yes. Brent, Victoria, Josiah, we charge you mm. as we send you forth with the blessing and the favor of God. 
in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. been a long night but what they've sown into us every one of us that know them this is just a short few hours amen? amen we'd like for you just to give them a few minutes to be able to share their hearts with you and then we'd like for you to allow them to go out and over into the fellowship hall and then we'll join them amen, amen. hallelujah hallelujah you need more tissue yeah Would you just please be seated for just, I, I won't, I won't be exhaustive, I promise. Um, yeah. The greatest love of my life is the Lord. He is the love of my life. <laughs> and then my wife I just want to give so much honor to my wife tonight too uh, for who she is yeah, who she is We pulled into this city with our little children. Josiah was four. Victoria was three. They were precious. They colored the entire way from just outside of Cincinnati all the way to Sarasota. 17 hours. They colored the entire time and smiled the entire time. They were the giddiest, smiling. I know it's hard to believe Josiah is just serious tonight. He's just, He's working on his cowboy look. <laughs> um, <laughs> cowboy up. <laughs> you know, they were so precious as we came down here and we, September 21st, 2004, we pulled into the city at 11 o'clock at night. Peter Pan and Jodo was in our driveway to meet us. <laughs> very first family part of our church mary's first husband was such a dear friend of mine in lakeland who went to be with the lord <laughs> i love him dearly where is caleb where is... he's on the camera he's serving he was six months old when i held him in my arms at the funeral you were three, you were two. And I got to be their pastor for nine years. After a miracle, marriage, fall in love, you and Pete. I wish I could sit all night long and tell the stories. I really wish I could. Because what makes life so beautiful? Number one, it's the Lord. The Lord makes everything glorious and beautiful. But then the people that he puts into your life. <laughs> the people that he puts into your lives. It makes life so beautiful. And um, our life is so enriched. My wife and I, our children, were so enriched through serving. It's been so fun. It's been so challenging. I think there were times I was losing my mind. Oh my gosh. But it was still grand because it was God. You can, you can, be, you can be highly favored of God and see so much trouble, ladies and gentlemen. 
Just ask Mary and Joseph. Oh, you're highly favored of God. And angels were waking him up in the middle of the night and saying, get out of here now and go down to Egypt. You could be highly favored of God and have trouble everywhere. But an awesome, mighty God. <laughs> he always leads us into triumph. Our God will always, always lead you into triumph. Always. He's an awesome God. I love my wife with everything that I am. I love my children, my daughter, my son. I'm so happy that my brother is here. So happy. I'm so happy my mom and my dad are online watching right now because Caleb is serving. Because Caleb is serving, mom and dad are here tonight. I think Brent's mom and dad may be online as well. We have family. The Gordons, Ian and Sarah are watching from Redding, California tonight. I think President Obama is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> uh, Governor Perry, hallelujah, bless you. <laughs> you know what, guys? I mean, it's a wonderful life. Man, I, I watched, I watched It's a Wonderful Life three times again this Christmas. You all know that. It's my favorite movie. I love it. And um, it is. It's just, it's a wonderful life, guys. It is. Isn't it wonderful? My God. My God. Can you believe this? Only Jesus. Only Jesus. I cannot tell you how happy I am that they're, they're here and they're standing here. I'm telling you, I'm ecstatic. My wife and I... I've met so many anointed people that don't care about people. And their, mean, their anointing don't mean jack to me. You all know what jack means in the Hebrew and Greek. <laughs> I love people that carry a real anointing. And, and love the bride. Love the Lord, but love the bride. Love and cherish the bride. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy, isn't he, honey? Yes. Through everything. And yes, there have been times that, whoa. But there have also been times in this city <laughs> that have been so glorious. There are more, more stories and chapters that right. I can say so much, you know. Go ahead, honey. We love you all. When, when we were watching the video tonight, hilarious. I've never seen you shave, Terry. <laughs> Gee, I'm going to watch that so many times. <laughs> but um, just looking at the people and looking out, I think what made me cry was just the destiny that I see in all of you and how much we believe in you. And uh, our vision and our hopes and dreams for Sarasota continue on. But they continue on through all of you. And I think I know how the Lord feels, you know. 
because that's how he sees all of us. His hopes and dreams continue on through us. And um, it truly was such a great joy. Brian and I had such great joy last week, um, passing the baton yeah. to Pastor Tony and Fran. Total joy. We did. And, um, yeah. And I, I feel like tonight that I just, I speak forth and I declare that we pass the baton to all of you. Because it's not just them that carries what we've imparted here, you know. I mean, we've been with you longer than we've been with them in the same place. And... And so you have, you have the part, you have the commission to carry it on, to carry on what, I don't know, what the Lord used us to bring here and impart. And, and so, and, um, and so we just say, run with it, you know? run with it and we cheer you on we cheer you on and uh, it's going to be fun to come back <laughs> it is it'll be great to come back and we will pray for you we won't stop praying for you and this city and what God wants to do here because it is, it's been burned in our hearts. And um, it's a part of us. So, <clears throat> so we're still connected. <laughs> and we'll still family. And we love you dearly. And we'll do our part of what the Lord has said to continue to sow into that. So. We love you guys, and we bless you. Amen. That's it. Amen. Yeah. Stay standing, if you would, please. You know, if there's one thing that Pastor Brian has taught us to do, is to party. We love to party. We love to do life together, Chet. Yes, give, we give do. Him a, give him a word, Chet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Give him a word. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have time to rehearse this. Just <laughs> All right. Everybody, say get set. Hey, we need, we need to fill the altars, guys. Everybody yeah, come, come on, on up down. Fill the come altars. On. Actually, yeah, everybody come down. Yeah, come on. Fill up the altars. Come, come on, on now. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Come on. Apart. Come on. Let's go. Fill the altars up. Yeah, come on. Let's get the blues All right. going here.
Hallelujah. Fort Myers. What a party. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, I just want to invite each and every one of you over to the uh, Family uh, Fellowship Hall Center. And uh, there's, there's some uh, cake and... And I know that uh, just respect um, Pastor Brian and Pastor Bren's time. They got to get on the road tonight, so they'll. Yeah, they're, that, that's that's their goal is to get on the road and and. Uh, and just make, give make them a time. couple of minutes, um, Pastor. Everybody, give Pastor Thomas and Pastor Kathy Thank a big you guys. hand. And they're and they're and heading back to Fort Myers. They're gonna run over there real quick. They have to get back to Fort Myers, but they're gonna make their way across real quick. Bye, Pastor. To, bye. God bless you, Pastor. Safe trip. See you soon. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, so they're just going to go over real quick and say goodbye to the Gibbs. Why don't you just lift your hands to heaven right now. We just want to pray a blessing over you. Give me that ball. Come on. There we go. Hallelujah. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak blessings over each and every one of you. Yes. We speak that this week is your best week yet. That as you go forth, rules and regulations are changed on your behalf. People are drawn to you. They go out of their way to bless you. There's peace in your home. Thank unity in your marriage. Your children are more obedient than they've ever been. This, we speak over you, is going to be your best week yet. That you're going to have opportunities to win people to Jesus Christ. Amen? Have a great week in Christ. We love you. We bless you. Tuesday, 7 p.m. here at Victory at Sarasota. That's where it's at. God bless Come you on. all. All right, head on over and love have some cake and give the Gibbs a hug. We love y'all. Y'all, I'm already